Spot on. Hello, I'm Adam Paul Morgan. Thank you for clicking on to what is a vlogging Adam video where I talk about the who, has the what not and the generals. How's you been doing? Now, one thing I've noticed from doing research on vloggers and checking out some other videos and there's some pretty good people out there who I've got to be honest they were doing more interesting videos than me but one thing I have noticed about people who do these vlogging things seem to be much younger than me I've noticed but also they like to show off about what they've spent in shops and they like to show it on camera on how much of the expense that they've gone out and bought well I went shopping the other day and I bought myself a pair of jeans that's right a pair of jeans but I'm not going to show off on how much I spent on them I'm going to show off how much little I spent on them I'll just cover up the waistline thing of course but that's how much I spent on a pair of jeans now that is a bargain so much I bought two pairs did you watch Rod Gilbert's the thing he presented that was on the television uh, not so long ago the UK's best part-time bands now this was a sort of documentary slash I suppose a reality TV show about people who have jobs doctors uh, carpentry plumbers you know firemen whatever whatever it may be whatever it may be their sort of job who are also in a little part-time band as well and they do it because they love it they want to be in this part-time band now what I loved about this documentary slash reality show whatever it may be comedy program with Rod Gilbert doing some cracking jokes in there was that it wasn't the X Factor it wasn't the Britain's Got a Pop Factor or whatever what are these I'm gonna swear crappy programs are um, where people ring up and um, basis was there was no prize money there was no recording contract there was no crack at a Christmas number one or any sort of music destroying nonsense like that it was just basically an opportunity for these people just to get on stage and have a bit of a jam and obviously a voting system at the end but it was really good and it really did open my eyes up to some of the amazing people who of course have got jobs out there one of the guys who I really took um, really interesting too and I wouldn't mind seeing these guys live was King Salami and the Cumberland Free. It was a sort of surreal music act, it was fantastic, it looked brilliant on the television and if you go on YouTube and you type some of the names of these bands you can find them. Now King Salami and the Cumberland Free, this guy is just a tennis instructor but he does this uh, band thing on the side, it was an absolutely fantastic group and on the programme they done a cover of Tainted Love and it's probably the best cover than Mallory Manson's version and so on and so on but also you got Johnny K in the voodoo guys um, I'm not quite sure what the name of the band was but they were fantastic they were brilliant and the winners who I look for them and you can find them if you type the right things in bomb scared now be careful putting that in your Google search but if you put the scare instead of the C put a K for the sort of scar and um, somewhat reggae type style of music as well that was brilliant that was an absolutely superb group and yes I have found them and I've listened to them it's like their albums are going on my Christmas list if it's possible to buy them I hope they're else because they're fantastic really good um, style of music as well it's upbeat as well which was the main thing about music you know, everyone in this program was dancing around to the sort of scar style as well and it was just superb and it's the best cover of Britney Spears Toxic I have ever seen so if you haven't watched the UK part-time band I'd recommend you check it out and watch it because it was brilliant and it was better than any of the crap you find on the X Factor like I say Britain's got a pop factor or whatever the crap is or the voice even more because they're just terrible these are just pop you know I, it's just fancy karaoke where this UK part-time band thing felt like proper music I went camping the other day and that balloon that balloon there woke me up at six o'clock in the morning I'll repeat that six o'clock in the morning so if you recognize that hot air balloon or in fact if you was even in it and you was hovering around stone over a campsite at six o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning shame on you you woke me up shame on you so did you check out part-time bands what do you really think of it have you ever been woken up by a hot air balloon do you think that people sort of like to show off how much money they've spent where I'm the opposite I like to show off it's how much little I've spent so I'm Adam Paul Morgan and Tarara Bit. <laughs>